of his son Jesus Christ to love one another. All right. Walk in the light and not in darkness. Walk in the light. Oh my God. I said, Lord, it's so much. These are peril times now. Evil times. And the Lord is drawing out. And I said, Lord, we need to get in your word. And you said, meditate. Get in the word of God. And read the word of God and hear the voice of God speak through his word. Yes. And I first started off, I will be coming from 1 John, the third chapter, and I will be coming to from 1 John, the uh, second chapter. And I wanted to go in um, the book of Psalms, praise God, yes. to let you know, to, to just give you a clarity that who you come to worship today. Yes. To give you a clarity with whatever you need today. You believe in that faith? And God will give it to you. And I'm going to just read too a little about um, in the book of James about what faith is. Yes. Because sometimes when you don't know how to reach God, and you say, I talk by faith, and I walk by faith, but it's more than that, praise be to God. Yes. If you got a pen and a pencil, I want you to write these down. Because when it's all said and done, and when that great day of the Lord comes, we're going to need the word. Yes. You say, well, we're talking, but I didn't want to hear what she was saying. But one day you will need the word. Because when you stand before God, what can you say about his word? Nothing. Nothing because you never read it and you never heard it. Yeah. But in Psalm 24, you know, it really, I'm just so blessed that I can laugh at the devil. You know why I can laugh at the devil? So can you. Because the world thinks they got everything in control. Amen. Because they got a government, because they got a president, because uh uh, uh, they try to run everything and because you got all the money, rich man and rich woman, they got all the money and here these uh, low collar people just uh, uh, just trying to um, meet, make end meet, you know, and, and, and then they got the poor, they don't want to meet the poor needs, but that's why we as God people have to realize who God is and when God allows us to get something, you know we are supposed to help one another. Amen. But when we ball up things and keep it for ourselves, Amen. because you know what, I don't want to be without that because supposing something happened, I'm gonna need some money. Don't you know, it doesn't matter how much money you have in the world, you're gonna have a million of dollars in the bank. But when God speaks, well, when the earth shakes, well, and the snowstorms come, well, and the rainstorms come, the thunder and the lightning, Do you have a 
a heart like Jesus? Mm. Yeah. My Lord Jesus forgave you. He forgave me. Yeah. Why, well, how much more are we supposed to forgive one another when someone makes you mad and get upset? And you know what? It's one thing when people get upset and mad over nothing. Over nothing. Then they blame God and say, well, God, if they're in church, I'm not coming back to church. And then if something happened, a loved one passed away, I'm not going to serve God no more. If that job, you got laid off that job, well, Lord, those people don't like me. Well, maybe if you got laid off, maybe you God has something better for you. You pray for them. That's a heart of compassion. You want healing from God. You want miracles? Well, yeah. You want delivery? You want a sign of mind, a peace of mind? Yeah. Have some clean hand and a pure heart before yeah. God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, right. nor a sword deceitfully. Oh, yeah, right. He shall receive the blessings from the Lord. That's yeah. right. God is not short of his promise. So when something in you is not acting right and not thinking right, go and check it. Like a, like a mechanic needs to check out his uh, battery or uh, the motor to see if it's working right. We have to check out his body, his soul. You see? Because when you have the spirit of God in you, that soul, once you done got saved and sanctified you with the Holy Ghost, that soul going to come and try to tell you, well, you know, um, that old man said you can go back out there and do what you want to do. But when God's spirit is there, that spirit can tell that soul. Don't you know your spirit can talk back to your soul? Soul? Yeah. You will be subject to the Holy Spirit, but you used to go out there and run around and fool around and do all those things, breaking and hurting this, killing and stealing. So you can't do that no more. All right. All because the spirit of God is in you. Yeah. And a lot of times people listen to that song that say, well, I want to go back and get another smoke. Mm -mm. See, if the Holy Spirit is not in you, yeah. you will listen to that song. That song want to go and do out all kind of uh, uh, destruction and killing and stealing and lying. But when you accept Christ Jesus, he gives you that baptism of the Holy Spirit. Then he said that if the Spirit comes to lead you and guide you, draw you, yeah. and it will help you. Well, With what happened from the yoga it can yes, be not only sickness, it can be a problem with your job, your home, your life, everything. Yeah. Thank you. But remember, the Lord just didn't give you that Holy Spirit to just say to somebody, I just got baptized with the Holy Spirit, but do you know what to do with it? All right. All right. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to get back to Psalm 24. Praise God. He shall receive from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation, listen, this is the generation of them that seek him, that seek that face, oh Jacob. This generation, I tell you, these young people are tired of being sick and tired. They're tired of running. But we as women and men of God that has this anointed Holy Spirit, how to run to Jesus yeah. and how to just forget about what they left behind. Yeah. Knowing what they left behind is going to perish. But what they see before them is Christ Jesus and righteousness will live for eternity. Yeah. Praise be to God. Lift up your head on these gates and may you lift it up right. and Thank you. Thank you. Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Welcome to yeah. 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 Lift it up. Oh my God. You know, I just had a week when I was just reading and thinking about, and I could see the cross. With his arms stretched out. Yes, yes, yes. Even yet, before we was even born in existence, he knew us. We was on his mind and his heart. That he didn't want us to perish. No man. God is the God of the universe. Well, all the time people think about religion. Religion can't save anyone. Religion can not die for anyone. No one died for anyone but Jesus. And when he died on that cross, he died once. Not in my new book, praise God. But you know the best thing about it? He rose again. 
Now, when angry comes, do you think the devil's gonna set you free? No. When you commit a crime or do something wrong, guess where the devil's gonna put you? Even prison for life, or you get electrocuted, and you go to hell after all that. Now, anger is a friend of Satan. So we men in Christ Jesus need to be quick to hear. Yes. And slow to speak, slow to anger. Yes, yes. That the Holy Spirit will guide us in the right way. Praise be to God. Mm -hmm. Now, he says, I'm going to read a little bit about 1 John. 1 John, he said, light and not in darkness. As we walk in the light, we will regularly confess our sin. Allow the blood of Jesus to continue to cleanse us. The major roadblock to the hindrance of this walk will be falling in love with the world and falling for the alerting lies of false teaching. See, you know when people have a mind to want to get rich, want to go to school, we ain't got enough money, we ain't got enough clothes, we ain't got enough this. So the world will come on TV and commercial. You can have this. You can get rich quick. Okay? But then they're thinking about their um, materialistic thing, but not their soul. Amen. You know, if really I wonder all this week, I would say, Lord, you mean to tell me nobody's thinking about their soul? Why do you think Jesus went on the cross to die for us? Because we could not save our own soul. Well, amen. Children, young people, yes. even to the elder people, yes. we have a soul yes. that needs to be saved. Yes. Don't you know this body houses that soul in us? Yes. Yes. Don't you know that's why Jesus gave us the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Come on, come on, that we can speak to that soul. Come on, come on. Do not 
Don't you try to give sometimes. Amen. Give out your own necessity. If you don't have money, give your time to service. Amen. If you can't go out the house, just pray for somebody beside yourself. Biblical love is unconditional. It is natural. Christ's love fulfills those qualities. Yeah. And when that brand of love characterizes us, we will be free Amen. of self-condemnation yeah. and experience confidence yeah. before God. Amen. God is life. Yes. Those who fellowship with him must possess his quality of life. That's right. Amen. Spiritual life. Mm -hmm. Being with spiritual birth. Which occurred through faith. I heard a woman say to me as I was talking to her about Jesus. And I said, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Have you accepted him as your Savior? She said, so much a religion. And I said, I didn't say religion. Have you accepted him as your personal Savior? Hallelujah. Only one who had died for us, and that is Jesus. That's right. Amen. I said, he is the God and the Father of all religions. Mm -hmm. She said, that's such a controversy about religion. But I said, let it be made known that Jesus went up on that cross. He died. He shed his blood. He was buried and rose from the dead. Yes, and he's coming back again. Thank you, and if you have not accepted Christ as your Savior, Amen. your soul will be lost. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. Faith in Jesus Christ infuses us with God's life, eternal life. Although the Apostle John's name is not found in this book, he was given in the title in the first John. Mm -hmm. Praise be to God. Yes. First John, the third chapter. Be love, behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the Son of God. Amen. When you call the Son of God, Amen. don't you know you can go to the Father yes, and you can ask Him what you will? Yes. Amen. He said it. But before we can do that, God said, I have to command something of you. And then he said, now you have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you walking in the light? Not in darkness. We have to make sure we're walking in Jesus. I know when you're walking in Jesus, God will not withhold no good thing from you. God. Amen. Therefore, the world know him not. That's right. Because it knew him not. They know you not because they know Jesus. They didn't know him. Amen. Because when the storm comes, the earth begins to shake. Oh, yeah. What do people say? Pray for us. Yeah. Pray us. Second Chronicles 714. Amen. Jesus said, My people who call
Let's sing along. Well, well. Song, yeah. I think it's 118. It's different yeah. scriptures of verses it mentioned about trusting in the Lord. Yes. Yeah. You know, just trust in Him. Put your yeah. confidence in the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Not in men, not in horses, nor in chariots. Right. Praise God. The put your confidence in the Lord. Amen. And it's another scripture there that it says, uh, Oh Lord God, let me not die. But then I live well, to proclaim yeah, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Right. Lord, I want to live yeah. so I can tell somebody else about you. Yeah. Lord, I want to preach yeah. the yeah. to the kingdom of God. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. I don't want to get ahead of the whole yeah. Uh, scriptures back 
go that, oh, if I go and do something, God will forgive me? Well, you wasn't saved in the first place. <laughs> you wasn't saved in the first place. Amen. Amen. Well, you can't be healed. And I'm going to prove it 
until you praise God. Praise God. Romans 11 chapter. And just bear with me. Romans 11 chapter. Praise be to God. I'll prove it to you. Because the first partake of the word of God is given to the children. It's the Israelites. The chosen one. They are a Gentile nation. Any other nation that is not Israelite or Gentile. Romans 11 chapter. Starting at the 12th verse. <coughs> now it is the, now if the fall of them be rich of the world, and the admission of them, praise be God, trespasses of them, the riches of the Gentile, how much more their fullness. For I speak to the Gentile, and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentile, Paul is saying, I magnify my office. If by any means I may provoke to immolation, <coughs> praise God, to jealousy. Okay, God pro provoked Israel the Israelite to jealousy by giving them a, a nation of people that would believe him to make them jealous because they didn't believe God report. They refused to believe it. And God didn't just stop there. He said, well, I'll make you jealous then. You don't tempt the Lord thy God. So he, he, he turned it over to the Gentile. 14th verse say, praise God. If any means I may provoke to immolation, mean jealousy, them which are my flesh and might save some of them. So that's where we get to have salvation. Praise be to God. He said, for if the casting away of them be reconciling of the world, See, God don't want the world to pass, to perish. He don't want no man to perish. He said, but if you turn of your evil ways, your evil doing, I don't want you, I don't want you to be destroyed. But this is why he made the Israelite jealous now. Now you can, don't have to be destroyed. You don't have to be deceived by the devil. Praise be to God. He said, for they casting away of them, the, re the reconciling of the world, that shall be receded of them be but life from the dead. That's right. For if the, fr the first fruit be holy, That's right. praise be to God. The lump is also holy. Have to be, have to be. Praise be to God. Amen. My God, Jesus is holy. God is holy. Amen. Praise God that we must be holy. Hallelujah. Israel must be holy. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. And then it says, and if some of the branches is broken up, now, Israel, the branch was broken off. Yes. And in order for us to be drafted in. Ooh. Come on in. See, Jesus loved us. He loved the world. Yes, Praise does. God, he loved the world. Amen. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what denomination you are. Yes. It's not religion, but a personal relationship with yes. Jesus Christ. That's the Lord. Yes. Yes. Praise yes. God. And those yes. being a wild olive tree. That's right. Now, we was that wild olive tree. Wow. You know, they come in all yeah. kinds of sin and yeah. doing all kind of perverted things and worshiping yeah. all kind of idol gods and everything. Mm -hmm. My Lord. Yeah. But then God looked on somebody yes, like this. Yes. 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 We didn't even deserve yes. it, but yes. grace. Yes. He 
He said, boast not against the branches, but if that boast, that bears not the root, yes. but the root be. Yes. Thou will say then, the branches was broken off that I might be grafted in. Yes. So we boast it. And the, the, the churches all over the world, those point a finger at Israel and say, look at Israel. They ain't doing this and doing that. God has not forgotten about Israel. Praise God. He said, well, because of unbelief, this is why it was broken off. Now, Israel was broken off because they didn't believe. Isaiah 53 chapter said, Lord, who has believed by the Lord? Amen. Then he says, because of unbelief, they was broken off. And that's standing, wait a minute, we standing by faith. Yes. Amen. By faith. Amen. So be not high-minded. Don't be halting in your spirit. Amen. Working around like we got more than enough. We ain't got more than enough. We need more and more in Jesus.
But I want you to read down for me and let me tell you who else can go to hell. Christian can go to hell too. Praise God. Verse 15 says, Whosoever hate his brother. Now, that word hate can have a, a, be as animosity. Oh, oh. You can have some animosity, some bad feelings about your brother. Sometimes people can hate you without a call. You ain't even say one word to them. True, true. And then they hate you. True. Don't you know that's bad business? Yeah. Who said they hate his brother? It's a murder. Amen. That's the word of God. Did anybody say it spelled M-E-R-E-R? Amen. Can everybody read this verse with me again? Whosoever hates his brother is a murder. And ye know not what murder is a from Community Revival and Outreach Ministries. I trust that you enjoyed that wonderful service we just uh, had, and I trust the Lord that it touched your heart and your spirit, and it also inspired your soul. But beyond just listening to a message, we also ask you to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And how you do that, you just simply ask and bow before Christ. 
And if you're willing to lay hands upon your TV or bow your heads right where you are or sitting, if you just bow your heads with me and we'll pray the prayer of faith. Heavenly Father, we truly thank you for all things in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that you forgive us of all our sins and have mercy upon our soul, and that not only you save us, O Lord, from our sins, but, O Lord, that you would sanctify our hearts and sanctify our souls, as well as, O Lord, baptize us with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. We accept you, O Lord, into our hearts and our life. We confess our sins, and we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that God raised him from the dead. And by believing and accepting this, O Lord, we claim to be saved in his holy name. We give thanks and praise for all things. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I trust the Lord that your heart is fixed with the Lord and that your blessing will be assured and that you'll come out and fellowship with us. And if not with us, your, your own local church in your area and that God will be a blessing to you until we see you again. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.